today I'm going to be showing how to get a Twitch window in an Oculus Quest headset when streaming PC VR games specifically. So not games that are on the Quest itself, but games that are played through a PC using AirLink. Before doing that, I would suggest that on your PC you have the Oculus software installed and connected to your headset and also that you have your Twitch chat and maybe your alerts window popped out. So you're going to start off by clicking on the quick settings button, which is the time along the taskbar once you put your headset on. And there are three things we're going to want to check by clicking the settings button at the top here. The first is going to be making sure that your headset is fully updated. So once you're in this window, uh, you scroll down using the trigger on or sorry, the control stick on your right hand and click on software updates and make sure that it is fully updated. You can see mine has no updates available, so it is fully updated. Next, you are going to go a little further down to the power settings and make sure that your auto turn off or auto sleep headset is turned up. It defaults to one minute, I believe, on the Oculus headset. You want to change it to five or even 15 minutes. You can always press the button on the right side of the headset to sleep it yourself it, so that it doesn't auto sleep. But the reason is, is that you don't want it to accidentally go to sleep when you take it off when you're streaming because that will desync it from the computer and you will need to reset everything in order to get the stream to work. So that is very not ideal. So make sure you turn the auto sleep off and use the button to sleep your headset. Um, that is a good plan for when you're streaming. And finally, you want to make sure that the headset is connected to a 5G Wi-Fi signal. Uh, if you use a different type of signal, it will not be ideal. It will be very stuttery and may disconnect sometimes. Uh, so you'll want to make sure you're connected to your 5G Wi-Fi network. Um, then so once you're ready, you click on Quest Link right here, and you'll find your PC, which has the Oculus uh, software installed on it, pop up right there. And once we click Launch, we will enter into the matrix void that is oculus airlink so you can see i look around and it is a void in every single direction so now that we are in here i'm going to show how to get your twitch window into the oculus link software so you're going to click on add desktop panel and one of the things you're going to want to have set up before you hop into VR is make sure that your Twitch chat and if you want, like, say, the activity feed as well uh, inside your headset, you want to make sure you pop those out as their own windows. You could do an entire Twitch window on your own, um, but uh, I find it easier just to have the Twitch chat and Twitch window. So you can see as soon as I click the Twitch chat, there it is floating in front of me. Um, and this will actually not show up in a PC VR stream, uh, it will only show up if you are casting directly from your headset. Uh, so for if you'd like to do it that way, that's totally fine. But uh, it tends to have like this weird resolution as you're seeing right now, and not a great uh, view. Whereas if you use like OBS to capture your uh, entire window or something like that, it tends to look better, you just won't be able to see this window. Um, so to move it around, what you're going to do is you're going to click the grab button. So you can see when I grab while I'm pointing at it, I can move it around wherever I want. So you want to move it somewhere that uh, is within your, uh, it's kind of out of your view, um, but that you'll still be able to see. Now you'll notice that the second issue right here is that this this uh, window is not transparent. Uh, it will cover up anything you see in a VR game, including things in front of it. So you'll want to make it kind of relatively small and close to your face so it doesn't take up too much of your world view. And in order to do that, uh, you will grab it and you can control the size. You can also rotate it as well. You can control the size and distance using the control stick. You can see when I put my thumb on the control stick and I push up and down, it sends it further and closer. And for me, what I like to do is I like to have it nice and close. And then you can move the control stick left and right while holding the grip button to make it smaller or bigger. So you can just make it a little tiny window that floats kind of like right next to your head and leave it right there. And then in order to keep it there for the uh, entirety that you're using this, you'll want to click the pin to experience. So now that window is stuck there. No matter what I'm doing in VR, you will always see that window right there. The other downside to it, so there's uh, the one that it doesn't show up in the, in the uh, stream. Uh, so when you look in this direction, people will just see you looking off in this into space. They won't see this window. Two is that it's not transparent, so you can't see anything behind it, and it will block your vision in front of it as well. 
But the third one, uh, which is also quite important, is that uh, you cannot tie it to your hands. So there's a lot of Twitch uh, chat window software in VR where you can tie it to your hand or to your headset or something like that. This can only be placed in world space. So it'll be physically there. If I move and walk around it, it'll still be there, um, but I can't get it to, to tie to my hand or to my uh, headset. But that works. Uh, it does get in there. Uh, the other thing is if you want your activity feed, you go to add desktop panel again pop down here and click on activity feed and there we go I have a second window and I can do the same thing here so I move it a little bit bigger and just place it right there and click the in button oh, I don't want to accidentally minimize so maybe I'll lift it up a little bit higher there we go now it's pinned um, so you'll want to make sure that these two windows on your PC are in the foreground, meaning they're not minimized, because as soon as you minimize them, they won't update. You want to make sure they're, uh, they're, uh, that they will update by keeping them not minimized. But now that they're there, they will stay there. Uh, they will move if you, say, uh, do a quick turn or you uh, enter into a different uh, position in your 3D space. Um, but for right now, they are staying as is. And to give an example, so let's say I go to my library. Um, you, this will work in Steam VR as well. But for right now, just to make it easier, I'm going to go to uh, Echo VR. Um, and this will open with an Oculus software. And you'll see that these chat windows do stay there um, no matter what I'm doing. Um, all right. So again, just to cover what was uh, what to do, you want to make sure that you update your system software so that is uh, your Oculus is running the most recent version. Uh, you want to make sure that you are connected to a 5G network and that your headset will not go to sleep on its own. Because if I say put this down and want to do something on my computer, uh, then uh, you will uh, it could go to sleep and then it'll desync from what it is that you're looking at, which can cause a lot of problems. Um, the other thing to keep in mind as well is that you'll want to do everything from within the headset. Uh, you don't want to be taking it off and going back to the computer to change things. So it, say you're in a game like this. So this is actually running off of my computer at the moment. Uh, say you want to go into the Oculus menu. You press the Oculus button, which is on your right hand. And you can see when I do that, I can see everything here, including clicking on my desktop go into the monitor and I can see OBS and control everything from here just as I would anywhere else. So you can uh, click on the, you can see this. Um, say I go to my other m monitor. You can see I have the two chat windows. Uh, it's a vertical monitor. I have them in the foreground there and uh, I can click on say OBS, which is down here and then switch back to monitor one like that. Now, if I were in Steam VR, I would click on the Oculus button on my left hand, and that would bring up the Steam VR menu, which also lets you control your desktop. So there's actually two ways you can control your desktop from within the headset. Uh, so you don't want to be going back and forth to the uh, computer. You want to do everything from within the headset. Uh, once you're in VR, the uh, you can click on that button again to make this disappear. Just keep in mind that there are three limitations to this type of chat window. It cannot be tied to your hand or to your head. It has to sit in, th in uh, world space. It is not transparent, so it has to be, uh, it, it will cover anything you can see right there. I can't even see my hand even though it's in front of it or behind it, doesn't matter. It will cover anything. It won't be visible in the stream unless you are casting it directly from your headset, which I would advise against. So people won't be able to see it in the stream video, but that's okay. Uh, people will know you're reading the chat and that's fine. Um, obviously this is not as good as if you were to do it using say a valve index. Uh, that is my preferred method and I can get it to the chat windows over my hand. It's transparent. Uh, it shows up in the stream, all that kind of stuff. But for using an Oculus to stream, this is uh, one way of doing it essentially. Uh, so I'm opening it up now and I will jump into a game. All right, and now I'm in a game and you can see that the windows are still there. 
They're floating over my shoulder. And you can see that the windows are still sitting there while I am in game. Now in order to move them out of your way, you use the stick on the right hand to quick turn. Oh, looks like the game has already started. Orange with the disc. Orange clears it out. Come on, blue team, get it out, get it Throw down, throw down. Come on, blue team. Throw down, throw down. That was a good throw. Blue clears it out. Great pickup by Orange. You're a butt cheek. You're a booty butt cheek. What the hell is that? Shoot that, shoot that, shoot that. Nice. Nice I goal. It. I so sucked that. What? Nice on that, nice. I just did. Good throw. Nice. It's okay, team. We can get it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. You got the. We, we feel it. Don't worry about what? it. What? All right. So that's how it works. Um, say you want to reset yourself, reset where the windows are, so that you're. You know, if if the if the app itself or the uh, game is is making you change your camera, all you do is you press the Oculus button on your right hand to bring up this window, and it will recenter these windows relative to the direction that you're currently facing. So say I want to turn around and I want them facing on, I want them to move to that side. You press the Oculus button and you can see they recenter that way. And now they're on my right side in this direction. Uh, so that is how you run the uh, Oculus AirLink Twitch chat. I'm going to quit out of, as soon as I quit out of AirLink, so that's by pressing this button down here and click pressing quit, you'll see that the windows disappear. And uh, the audio will sound weird there because I was switching between microphones, but that is how it works. If you have any questions about how that worked, uh, feel free to reach out in the comments below. I know that was a lot of different information, but hopefully that helps you get your Twitch chat window open when you are streaming PC VR games using an Oculus Quest 2. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day. Goodbye.